When most people think of a concrete foundation, they envision this. Concrete being placed over a grid of steel rebar. This traditional method has served well for many years, but an alternative system offers significant advantages in strength and durability. Many modern homes are built on post-tensioned concrete slabs, which incorporate high-strength steel cables known as tendons. These cables are installed before the concrete is poured and then tensioned at the concrete cures, significantly enhancing the slab's performance. Cracking is one of the most common issues with concrete slabs. A single crack can lead to structural movement, damaged flooring, or ongoing maintenance concerns. Post-tensioning helps reduce this risk by controlling internal stresses in the slab. To reinforce concrete, builders typically use either rebar or post-tension cables arranged in a grid pattern throughout the slab. Concrete is inherently strong in compression, but weak in tension. Without reinforcement, it will often crack and separate when subjected to loads. When a slab is placed under load, such as from the weight of a structure, it sags a little bit, and the upper portion is therefore compressed, while the lower portion is subjected to tension, or a pulling force. Cracking typically begins in this tension zone. To address this, rebar is embedded within the slab. Its purpose is to carry these tensile forces, or stretching or pulling forces, and help to maintain the slab's integrity under stress. However, rebar does not prevent cracks from forming. It basically serves to hold concrete together after cracking has already occurred, minimizing displacement and structural separation. This photo shows rebar installed over a vapor barrier and within formwork prior to concrete being poured. This method reinforces a slab, but it still leaves it vulnerable to cracking in certain conditions. In a post-tension system, tendons encased in plastic sheaths are installed throughout the slab and anchored securely at both ends. In a post-tension system, high-strength steel tendons encased in plastic sheaths are installed in a grid pattern across the formwork, much like rebar. These cables are positioned and secured before the concrete is poured. Once the concrete is placed, the tendons become embedded within the slab, just like traditional rebar reinforcement. However, unlike rebar, these tendons are anchored at both ends and will later be tensioned to place the slab under compression. A helpful way to visualize this concept is with a series of C-clamps. Each clamp applies force to the concrete, squeezing it from both ends. Post-tension cables function in a similar way, applying internal compressive force across the slab to counteract potential tensile stresses. And as a result, this internal compression keeps the slab in a pre-compressed state, significantly reducing the likelihood of cracking under structural and environmental loads. So as we saw before, the tendons are laid out similar to how rebar is laid out. And then concrete's poured over the top of them. This embeds the tendons inside the concrete. After the concrete cures, each tendon is stretched. And in this case, they're stretched to 6,500 pounds of tension using a hydraulic jack. This process basically results in compression throughout the slab, and this is what sets the post-tensioning system apart from a rebar system. Once the cables are tensioned and secured, the exposed cable ends are trimmed off using a grinder or a similar tool. And then, to complete the system, the anchorage pockets are filled with mortar. This protects the tendon ends and helps prevent moisture intrusion and corrosion. The finished product looks like any other ordinary slab, but beneath the surface is a network of high strength tendons maintaining constant compression and minimizing long-term cracking or movement. Post-tension slabs offer enhanced durability, fewer cracks, and greater long-term performance compared to conventional reinforcement. Though invisible once completed, the cables inside act like a series of internal clamps, holding the foundation together and extending its lifespan. So this is post-tension slabs in a nutshell. I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.